when he tests on one day India, England, Australia A poor unlucky big three-side slayer What a player, what a player Kings 11 Punjab Punjab Kings doesn't make much of a difference they are again at the bottom almost at the bottom uh see their team is very very reliant on a fixed strategy unfortunately they don't have the batting depth like a lot of other teams do so a player like KL Rahul irrespective of how much ever we want him to play fast he is not able to play fast because the middle order is literally non existent so he has to bat through and whenever he bats through they do very well so uh, when they don't when he doesn't bat through it becomes an issue uh, if you see he he lost uh, he got out early against chennai and, and hyderabad and uh, they lost the game so uh, it's very important that they kind of um, understand that when they're building a team they need to have a lot of batting depth if at all they want to play the brand of cricket they play and their bowlers also are not bowlers who are like i wouldn't say they are like outstanding uh, bowlers or outstanding uh, t20 players they have a set of players who have come in and they're trying their best uh, you have riley mehdit who's playing his first season jai richardson playing his first season uh, they didn't start with ravi bishnoi which, which was a big surprise uh, they did whatever they could to be honest uh, within their limited resources they came up with good strategies uh, i wouldn't say they were completely out of it uh, but they are not consistent enough they win one day losing the other they need to have a string of three four wins to kind of challenge the other team and if kl was not there i would have i, I don't think they would have gone all the way maybe it's a blessing in this case for the punjab and they, uh, if at all ipl resumes kl will be back but absolutely yeah but the biggest problem has been they don't have that one t20 star bowler whom uh, teams have to worry about or they don't have that uh, huge batting depth which teams have to worry about they know that if they can get kl mayank gail or two of the three players i think they sort it let's put you for a moment at the auction table goro had you had 53 crores with you would you have gone with riley meredith and jai richardson for 24 crores so see there's a lot of questions to this akash we didn't know where the venue which venue the match was where the match was going to be held before when the auction was there that plays a big big uh, role so that's a huge disadvantage you don't want to start playing in mankade with the wet ball that's how riley made it and there it isn't started off that's not something you expect the overseas player to come and just come and start delivering right if they had played in maybe their home at uh, mohali maybe they would have been useful or if they had played in abu dhabi dubai they might have been much more useful like we saw last season so these are things you don't uh, predict and the amount of money they spend is again not because uh, they wanted to spend so much it was just uh, because of the auction dynamics it's like that and there was hardly any good talent if, uh, available so uh, riley mehdit is exactly the same as the uh, same mustafizur in terms of uh, what you can expect from that player right uh, mustafizur went for 2 crores and this guy went for 14 crores it's just that people want uh, um, jai or mehdit what kind of bowler they want badly they both are overseas quicks according to me yes one is a left arm uh, but the thing is people were obsessed with 140 plus bowlers so they went for riley mehdit and jay richard i thought mehdit was getting better to be very honest towards the, in the second in the uh, uh, i think the ahmedabad leg he was getting a bit of purchase he did very well uh, against rcb if i remember right so uh, again we saw the what little we saw of jay richardson was in the most toughest conditions for bowlers he would have never played with a wet ball uh, in australia and bold uh, in such tough conditions so we need to give them some time so i wouldn't blame their auction strategy i think 
they couldn't have done much more they're not their problem is the indian middle order all the overseas middle order they don't have enough players even in the even in the auction there isn't any indian middle order who's going to like turn you the season right so you have to rely on your overseas players and that's what they did they made sure that stay the bowling was a problem they bolstered their bowling and now maybe they found in a good all rounder in hadrid bad for them to start uh, uh maybe planning around him as a spinner so i wouldn't have done anything differently akash at least in a mini auction because uh, you don't have too many cho- choices but once you know that the main auction is coming up i'll definitely focus on building a nice core top 7 uh, to allow likes of kl rahul to play more freely